that was quite a party, wasn't it? Something else. Bridget and little Eric had so much fun. Where did they crash? Put them in those car seats and they're just out like a light. Sheer exhaustion. Yeah, well, I know the feeling. You're tired? Well, I don't have to be. Good. Something in mind? Well, I didn't give you your birthday present yet. Well, I thought we were going to forego presents this year. We are, except for one. I'll be right back. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Birthday indeed. <laughs> well, I thought about buying you a sports car or a plane, but another car, another plane, who needs it, right? Sure. I think you've done just fine. So you're not disappointed? Oh, not yet. How about an hour or so of absolute and complete attention? Would you like that? I certainly would. Do I seriously need to answer that? <laughs> On your stomach. On my stomach? On your stomach. Okay. Now just mm. relax. Mm. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that feels pretty wonderful. It only gets better. What a birthday. Have you ever stopped to think about it, Rich? How much love that you get from our family. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. And it's yours to use. It's your own little storehouse of energy. It's the fuel that keeps mm. the creative machinery going. Ooh. <laughs> Getting philosophical on me here? No, I'm just giving you a little friendly advice. That's all. Well, how best to use that love? Yeah, but you know, it's yours to use, so you can do with it what you want. Well, I think I know what I'm gonna do with it. Oh, you do, huh? Yeah. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. First, I'm gonna show it to our children every day. So that they will know exactly what the power of true love is. So that when they go out into the world, they can use it to accomplish incredible things. Things that haven't been done yet. Unattainable things that it's even silly to talk about at this point. So I won't. And then, my love, I'm gonna start all over again with another child. Maybe two, maybe three. That is, if I can convince a certain woman that that's what we ought to do. Twist my You want to have another child? 
Honestly? Yeah, I want to have another child. How do you feel about that? Uh, well, it's the uh, changing diapers and mm -hmm. midnight feedings. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes, I would love to have another baby with you. You just let me know. When you're ready, you say the word. divest myself of Forrester creations. Well, you yeah, have been talking about that. Yes. Yes. I guess it's time. Any reason you're holding back? No. Well. Well what? If I were to give the company back, would you ever leave me? What? Well, that's what some people say. I mean, that's why they say that I shouldn't do that. Then don't do it. But I want to, Ridge. I really want to. It's just that... Well, you think you might lose some leverage if you give the company back? Do I need leverage? No, Logan. Not with me, you don't. I shouldn't really have to say this, but I will. I am yours. I was yours from the moment I said that vow. You've never cheated on a wife, have you? I've uh, certainly never been called a saint. And I've also done a lot of things that I don't particularly care to talk about, more or less admit to you but cheating on your spouse has never been one of them when i married you it was for keeps One what? One of those things that you won't admit even to, him, to me. <sighs> well, okay, there was... There was a certain beautiful Dane. Hmm. Happily blonde, of course, right? No, actually, she was... spotted. You see, it was a, it was a great Dane. Oh, yuck, stop! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what happened to my massage? Gosh, your massage, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> we were just getting to the good part, weren't we? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Why don't we skip the good part? I love you, Rich. And I will always, always 